today we're going to be talking about some essential funk guitar techniques, both single note lines and chords. So one of my favorite styles to play on the guitar is funk. I love playing rhythm, I love sitting in the pocket with a good band, and funk guitar is just so rewarding and so much fun. So today I'm gonna to show you in a real quick lesson some basic techniques for playing rhythm guitar in a funk setting with both single note lines and some essential chord voicings to use in funk. So one of the most important elements of funk guitar is the 16th note subdivision. Most of the time when we're playing, we're always gonna be subdividing with a 16th note. And the way to get that in your playing is to just think of the 16th note. Let's play them as muted. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. And I'm alternate picking, so my one, or my numbers, will be down, my E's will be up, the ands will be down, and the us will be up. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So let's try playing that now, constant 16 notes. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing a little bit of muting with my palm, just to keep the notes real staccato, nice and short. So I'm picking, but my palm's doing some of the muting. That's just gonna keep them real nice and short and pointed and funky. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So to get this under your fingers and to practice some of the beats, let's try doing a round of 16th notes where we only pick the one, the two, the three, and the four, and we leave everything else muted. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. A little faster. And you'll notice that I'm hitting dead strings. And that muting, I'm getting that muted sound just by lifting my finger off of the fret. You can hear my finger is still hitting the string, this C at the fifth fret, but it's muted. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Now let's try the E's. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So those will all be upstrokes. We'll do it a little slower. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Great, now let's try the ands. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. All right, now let's do the us. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Remember those us will be upstrokes. All right, so if we put it all together, we get one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So basically when we're playing funk lines, the right hand can go on autopilot, just constant 16 notes, and the left hand will be deciding which notes are gonna sound and which notes will be muted. So here's an example of a single note line. Little faster. So we're going one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a So let's talk about some funk chords. We're talking about some essential voicings. So if you know this E7, we're gonna shift this around to make it an E9, adding that nine, the F sharp, really adds some nice color. Now what we're gonna do is shift all your fingers over to give us an E9, but this time we're gonna have the fifth on top. Notice how I'm keeping all those 16th notes happening the entire time, even when I don't need the chord. And when I don't need the chord, I just pull my fingers off and I get those dead strings. By having your pinky on top, it allows you to reach the 13. So you can play a little chord figure like this.
So let's look at another really cool funk voicing. This is gonna be based out of an A minor shape like this. But what we're gonna do is use the pinky and we're gonna add the flat seven, the G, 15th fret, first string on top. And we're gonna play that twice. And then we're gonna do two dead strings. So down, up, and then two muted down ups. And then we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna use the pinky on the 14th fret which is the 13th of the chord. So we're gonna do the flat seven on top, two dead strings, the 13th, two dead strings, and then just the A minor seven with the fifth on top. That's the 12th fret on the first string. And then back up to the A minor 13, then back up to the A minor seven. And then an upstroke for the A minor seven. So the whole pattern goes like this. So you can see, I have that right hand going just on autopilot. And adding this gives your chords a little melody. So another th cool thing you can do with your funk rhythm parts is take a melody. Let's say we're playing something in E minor and I have this little melody. I'm gonna put an E minor seven chord and play that with the E minor seven chord under it and just make sure that the melody note is always the top note of the chord. It sounds like this. Here's the melody. Here's the chord. And we're just gonna put that melody on top. All right, here's one more voicing, a little Earth, Wind, and Fire inspired thing. We're gonna take E7 sharp nine, some might know it as the Hendrix chord. We're gonna do a little half step slide into it. So here it is slowly. So that slide into the chord just gives the chord a little more character. And you can do that with a lot of your funk chords, just slide in by a half step and it really makes them pop and sound really interesting, a little more interesting than just playing the chord. It takes a little practice, but I recommend playing all these examples super slow. Make sure you're comfortable, relaxed with your picking hand, with your muting and count out those 16 note subdivisions. Over time, you can gradually play them faster until the feel becomes very natural. Once you get that muscle memory, it'll lock in and you'll be able to play these funky rhythm parts in no time. You just have to really work with it and really isolate each part and each beat and think about the down and up strokes, all those muted notes, all the little nuances that make funk guitar funky.